Hey, look at that. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes then. It's the old timey country down home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from Dunlap's grandmother's basement in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Yeah, buddy, it's Jackie Bros, and I won't say right now you don't smell right in here. Are you sitting on? You sitting on some old socks of mine? Let me. Well, get why did you? If you if you got to shut down, don't you touch them. You don't want to touch them. I want them away from me. I'll let my. I'd rather my fingers deal with it a little bit, so my nose ain't got to deal with it at all. Well, you don't know what's inside of them. Oh, let me yeah. here. Let me get my special sock touching socks on my hand. What is it? I put these socks on my hand when I have to touch these socks. But that's just more things that stink. You just adding to it. You ain't getting anything out of the way. You just hear what else stinks that I could put on this that stinks. These are clean socks that have only touched these. Those ain't clean. Uh, encrusted socks. They are not clean. Whatever. And I'm putting they... the in, uh, encrusted socks over here on this pile. Well, this one's got something written on it. This sock. Wait, wait, wait. Jelly sock. Yep. Let me. Can I have that back, please? Why do you write on your socks? I get them mixed up. I don't even need. I mean, what? The, honestly, I'd, it's a free for all down here. Well, it don't smell right. Next time, it ain't gonna hurt you. Just as, at least put it. Get, uh, there's a hamper over there. The hell, ain't no room in that. That ham- hamper is is full of straw. Straw. I thought I was gonna get a guinea pig. Oh hell. I was supposed to get a guinea pig for Christmas because that's what I wrote on my list to Santa Claus. Well, animals like things that smell. They like stink stuff. Dog get out, roll oh. around in the dead. You know. I got to keep this little high, uh, thin window locked. Not just shut because animals will find a way down here. Man. All sorts of them. Dogs, foxes. Well, they, they like, they think what, what something's dead. I want the dog in a way, roll around in it. I woke up and a horse had its head stuck down here. Horse? It, it was down on the ground sticking its head well, down Well, you it. got hay over there. What yeah. You... I figured it out pretty quick. Yeah. So, I, and then you had to call the fire department, get the horse's head out of your window. Get it out of the window. Because it couldn't are, put, it got stuck. Things are already awful enough, and you, this ain't helping. Me having to come in here to talk on this. Is not helping it. My every every waking minute of my this is just adding insult to Andrew. So figure something else out before before I do another one of these. Thank you know, clean up one of the two. Folks, this is Dunlap. I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us. Jackie uh, has his lunch break from Jockey's Market, and he agreed to come down here. He doesn't come down here to to my house very often. I don't, there wasn't no reason. I've been down here to watch a Batman movie and, and something else. You said you was going to have a card game years ago, and didn't nobody come over here but me and two people sitting there. You might hey, as well. you're sitting on an old copy of Wizard Magazine. Can I please have that back? Please? What is it? Let me, hold on. What is it? You're sitting on, this is, this was in really Why great did, condition you, you, you from You told me to sit. You told me to sit here, so I don't know well, why you want me least... to sit somewhere else. Where do you want me to sit? Because you said come in. I said, where you want me to sit down? Because don't nothing look like it needs to be sat on in here. You said sit right here in front of the damn microphone, well, I didn't idiot. see everything that was... I well, had... you called me an idiot because I didn't know where to sit, and now <laughs> yeah. you're telling me I didn't know where to sit. Yeah, we... Well, That's funny. Hell you for that. Folks, welcome to the Red State Update podcast. We appreciate you joining us. If uh, uh, I got Jackie away from Jockey's Market where he works uh, minimum wage. I like thought I, he said I could have an extra 30 minutes to come, come down here. But uh, we have to keep mentioning that this is sponsored by Jockey's well, Market. Well, he said, long keep saying that. I, I, you know, I, I'm still on the clock, so, it, you know, I'm part of the system or whatever it is. It's the first time I ever made money doing one of these. I'll be quite honest with you. You should, and you have to do a, the Jockey's Market is a Jackie's sponsor today. And, well, uh, and if I'm here, it's got to be Jockey's. That's what it said. So I, I'm, I'm still on the clock. 
I can sit down here for an hour, half hour, how long would you And he said you there. can't say nothing bad about him. Well, I ain't going to do that. He's the one who puts a paycheck in my hand. I guess you can't do it. Well, no. what a sellout. Hey, a sellout. I got to eat, don't I? I got, I got a, a sick woman to take care of. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. And I, and I it had money, but I used all that money trying to help society out, trying to help the people of this city. And what they say to me, they said, up up your old, old man, I want, I want a ghost bird. Well, this, I've heard Jimmy Carter say what you just said over and over again for the last 15 oh, years. Oh, hell I ain't. How, I, it's hard to do math, but I I figure that's Jimmy Carter's fault too. Yeah, it ain't like Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter don't work at all. He, Yeah, I know he builds up houses and stuff. But that's but for fun. He don't get paid for it, that's what I'm saying. I got to work for a living. Jimmy Carter can sit around complaining about Israel, Palestine, whatever the hell he feels like complaining about it. Cancer, whatever it is. He, he's going to whine about something. Let me it, tell you, if I had the time to go around and build houses for poor people who didn't have them, then I'd be doing pretty good. As it is, I barely have enough time to catch up on Westworld before I masturbate into right. one of these mini socks. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, good God. Just get it. I ain't doing this again. I don't care how much jockeys pay me. I said I'd do it. I'm going to sit here and take all it and just clean it up in here. I'm not going to sit out. If you tell me to sit somewhere, clean it before you tell me to sit on it. I like the sound of the podcast down here. It's more intimate. We're sitting just inches away mm. uh, from each other. Just, uh, ain't no room on this. I don't know with your bed or whatever it is, milk crates or whatever. You can't really walk in here. I'd say there's... What would you say? A foot of clothing and magazines and um, and wrappers, every kind of thing, any kind of fast oh, food yeah, wrappers, tons of fast food wrappers, candy wrappers, and uh, a few beer cans. Not as many beer cans you're getting older. I, t- I see. Not as many, never many beer cans it used to be. Oh, I mostly I drink in the car. I just leave them in there. Yeah. Save a trip, bring, bring, bring them down in here. Yeah. Lots of stiff wads of Kleenex, folks. Welcome to Dunlap's Castle. Right. And I am glad I have a place to retreat to because even though we spent seven minutes bashing Jimmy Carter, Jackie Brawls and I hate President Trump. Well, hell yeah, I do. That- we just want to get, if this, you're a new listener, you're like typical rednecks. Yep, except hate Trump. I, I can't stand... I, I don't like idiots. I don't care where you're from, especially the loudmouth Yankee ones. He waves his finger around, think he's better than everybody else. Now, when it comes to CNN, he may have a little something. He's got barely anything over CNN. Barely. But other than that, and these are, I'm tired of hearing it. And this is all it's going to be. He ain't, even, he ain't even president yet. Good God. Good Lord up in heaven probably take me. Or something will happen. Uh, take me. Uh, this is this. This not how I want to see. I, it was bad enough to see Obama ruin this country, and now you're gonna do this on top of it. So you're not going to the inauguration? We ain't going. I ain't going to damn. I'm. I gotta work. I ain't going to damn inauguration. What do you do when people come up to the counter and they buy celebratory tall boys and they say, "Jackie Brawls first. What are you doing here? I thought you worked over at that now, gross store. Listen, if I did still work at my own store, if I had my own store, I'd say whatever the hell I want to. I'd point them right and I'd look them in the eye and say, you a damn idiot. You ain't a patriot. If you think that man's worth a damn, you you ain't full of it. Or you are full of it, I should say. You ain't sure ain't nothing in you worth a damn. If that's a lick, I'll say that and more to the face. But I work for Jockey's Market, and he, he's a big... Uh, he's loving this. I'll say right now, Jockey, a big Trump supporter. I ain't think this is the best thing in the world. I need a job. I, if there was somebody else that pay me, I don't know how to do nothing else but work cash register in a market. I don't like serving that deli food, whatever it is, but anything else than that, that's all I know how to do. He give me a job. I got to be thankful for that. Huh? But I tell you what, Trump supporter, Jockey, giving me a job is more jobs than Trump's going to find for anybody. Do you get mad when people come in and order a MAGA sandwich? 
I don't, I get, I stay mad all day. All I can think about is Lisa making some money, uh, being angry, instead of sitting at home looking at it on TV and being angry. At least I can sit here and, and, you know, have something to say at the end of the damn week for being mad. What about when they come in and ask you, uh, Gay, Jackie, make me a MAGA sandwich with the extra grate? Yeah. I'd say tell Jockey, he's, this how he showed me how to do it. If you don't like it, then, you know, that's what I want to say. <laughs> I have to say, seeing you working at Jockey's Market is one of the shut your mouth. 1,800 things shut I never your, thought I'd say this Just year. shut your mouth. The other 1,799 I'll have to do with Trump becoming president. Well, yeah, that's all. Jackie, I got a sponsor this week that I think you're really going to like. Uh, it's Naked Church. Why? Folks, have you been wondering why your life is so empty? What and have church? you narrowed it down to two things? Either the absence of Jesus Christ or oh, yeah. the presence of pants. Why? Then I think you're going to want to get on down this Sunday to... Naked Church, where we're going to talk to you. If you are nudist or nudist curious or a Christian or Christian curious or a nudist Christian or nudist Christian curious, come Don't on down to Naked to Church. Bring your own towel. We will rent towels to you. All right. I don't want to. But at least somebody got a towel on. That's good. Yeah. You should bring a towel. No, that's just to sit on. Oh, hell. You lay that down on the pew so we don't get the cushions crusty. Oh, good. These towels have Jesus' picture on them. What? That's it. All right. You give people towels with Jesus' face on it and, and having them sit down on it naked. At church? What? Look, no, we don't. We make them flip it over so that his face... Faces a pew. What? But they say they still sitting on the back of Jesus' head. Okay, Jackie, let me ask you a question. Would you rather have me sitting on your face or sitting on the back of your head? I don't want neither one of those, and neither does Jesus. This isn't so much an actual sponsor as an idea of uh-huh. mine. I'm sort of floating well, out Well, now there. that makes more sense. But you know that I am still church accountant. Down there, no. and I have been uh, bored as hell since I'm not plotting a heist anymore. And I'm like, well, how can I make some money off this besides the salary they pay me for doing my job? And I thought, well, what if I, before or after church on Sundays, I did naked church, got some naked people in there. This is a bonus for me because I get to look at naked people, and I'm making money off my church job. I'll just... Naked people in church don't go together. That's two different things. Uh, where does that say so in the Bible? It don't say uh, naked this or naked that in the Bible. Something you just left to you, your imagination. In certain instances, someone begot somebody, somebody, you know. Yeah. That's, I know what that oh, is, yeah. but they don't say so and so got naked and did such and such <laughs> or this or whatnot. Well, it ain't about uh, being naked. Well, you got to read between the lines. That's going to be the, the subject of my first sermon. Well, there may be some naked things, but it ain't the naked the way you talking about it. If there is, I ain't a preacher. I ain't, I ain't you know, I don't look at the good book as much as I should. But uh, it, when I remember looking at it, it didn't say naked a whole whole lot. There ain't a thing on me that God didn't put there himself. I, I'll just... There may be a couple he things I've had removed. He didn't put it on you to, to show everybody else that's between you and the good Lord. Look. I didn't see no instruction book that says keep this wiener private. Oh, shut your mouth. As far as I can tell, he basically, from the looks of it, what I infer is he wanted me to show it off. Shut. And he wants people to go to church. You will wind up in and jail showing it to the wrong person. You killing don't... two birds with one stone, another famous Bible quote. Folks, come on down to Naked Church. Jackie, the thing is, at Naked Church, you ain't gonna get in trouble for showing nobody nothing because everybody's seeing everything. Oh, shut up. Including I, Jesus. I'm not gonna go. Jesus can say whatever he wants to. You think Jesus, he ain't looking at that all the time. Let Jesus me. sees it all the time, but that ain't what he's concerned himself with is what you got on or what you don't. 
People are naked most of the day. I mean, I am. Well, now, now, if you go in somewhere and, and Jesus don't want you selling your body or being naked on this or that for other people to join, then now maybe he's thinking on a little bit, talked about it. Other than that, let me tell you something. He ain't. When Jesus was here on the earth, he didn't, he didn't go from mega church to mega church. He didn't go from Jim Baker's house over to Pat Roberts' house know to, that. to George W. Bush's house. He he went down and he hung out in the whorehouses and the, the bathhouses. He got you out of those places. He didn't stay he there and the stay naked joints. with you. No. He and the t- nudist colonies. He went there and he said, come on with me, put some clothes on, and let's go eat some fish and wine and stuff. The strip We're going to do all sorts of stuff. I mean, it got bad toward the end, but he didn't have nothing to do with that. The opium dens. And he said, hey, y'all look like my kind of people. Let's he Yo, went to save. He got but, those. He didn't stay there in being naked with nobody. He said, "Come on out of there. Put some clothes on. Let's go do some gospel things." Well, we're doing all those, uh, everything you just said, except for the putting the clothes. All on. right. I don't have anything to do with it. I don't know anybody else in the right mind and want to have anything to do. Well, with you it. know, I, I think what we have is sort of a Sunni Shiite divide. Yeah. I I believe that clothes are not important when it comes to church, and you obviously it's important if I'm going there and like nobody got any on. Other than that, I don't care if I You eat. can't come to naked church with your clothes on. I don't want to go clothes on, clothes off at all. I don't want to have anything to do with naked church. But let me tell you, if you show up to naked church with your clothes on, everybody's going to think you're a perv. Uh, I, they ain't gonna, you'd be either way if I had my clothes on. I'm a perv, whatever. Not if I take it off. Hey. Don't make any sense. I ain't going to... Do either one I ain't showing up. There's still such a thing in this country as freedom of religion. Well, pervs, or whatever, that's who can go there. All you, I ain't no pervs. I never was. I don't like that sort of stuff. Never have. So that's Naked Church. Come oh, on just... down. Get, you know what? Jesus don't want nothing between you and him except love. And that's. All we got between any of us at Naked uh, Church, and uh, and a thin, thin towel. Just, I don't want to hear any more about Naked Church enough. Be careful when you're closing the hymnal. That's Naked Church. Russia, 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 Russia. Keeping your ear holes filthy. It's Philip. And Edgar, the Baronet Boys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is that Philip over there? Is that Edgar? This Edgar over here? My b- brother. Put those two things together. What you got there? Philip and Edgar. The Bear- Bear Up Boys. Bear Up Boys, that's us right here. We're on here. We want to Hell yeah. hope everybody's listening to us. Uh, still a little wet. We got a toes in the water last week. Uh, and and, and Hell, we are wet. Well, pretty pretty wet. <laughs> We're going to get a little wetter on this one right I'm now. Let me soaky wet. It's going to get, things are going to get damp. Let me tell you right now, because we're going to do it Moist. up. Moist. All right, starting to drip right now. I'm going to get uh, paper towels. Get them out, because we're going to drip it all over in here today. It's going to get so wet. We, uh, I'm so wet. Splash down. So I want to get to something right off the bat here. This is how I want to get wet. Like this, this is how I want to put uh, uh, my foot uh, back in the water. Yeah. Followed by my knee, my thigh, Just, my you, waist, my Stomach, my chest, go, go my, all the way. Kate, it's, it's my head's hot. going. Uh, my head's going under today. This is it right here. This I'll is a real deal. I'll dunk you underwater. That's right. I'll, I'll dunk you right you back. I don't. We have fun when we go swimming. Now, as you may know, some of you may or may not know. Years ago, my brother and I uh, were fortunate enough to participate in a reality show that that, that a lot of people not not enough people, but a, people that I know, personal friends. 
uh, enjoyed it. It was called Cracking Up with the Bear Nut Boys. We were on there with our dad and our mom and uh, my wife and uh, my brother-in-law and and my, my boy, Bill Bear Nut Jr. And it only lasted two episodes, but a lot of people that we we took the tape, we'd go, you know, you go on family vacations or, or reunions or whatever, you pass that tape around and word gets out and people like it. But, you know, it was the second one of those is when they decided, you know what, enough of this. We don't like it. Uh, let's not give something a chance, uh, no matter how many people uh, may like it, even though it's not enough. Well, I say it's more important than what, what everybody else thinks at the family reunion. Absolutely. I, I won the station, and I make more important decisions than the people at the family reunion. That's Absolutely. Horse shit. Absolutely. Shit on a horse. Hey. Well, no, you know what? Let it let it rip, because we can say whatever we want to. Shit on it. W- water is running. Uh, the faucet's on. It's all coming out. The R- Russia said that they when we cuss a little bit, it ain't that bad. They said go go right go right ahead. But they say it. They give us a list of words not to say. Well, there's certain words we're not supposed to say. But other than that, if it comes across your mind, you you and say it. It's not. PC is just gross. Well, certain things, certain things. It's 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 a cultural thing, and it's also just you know, indecency, indecency. There's always certain things I can hear in my ear that make me uh, not want to eat, and I think that's where some of the higher ups are coming from. But let me get back to the point. This is the second one of these for broadcast. That, that it's going out there. You're hearing it coming straight out of here, straight into your ears, and and. Already, before we got to this second one, there was a lot of people, a lot of familiar things that I'm used to hearing uh, that I heard so many years ago uh, during my experience with cracking up on the bare nuts. Uh, but, but now it's about this podcast, and this is the second one, people. Say what you want to say. Uh, sticks and stones, as I say, uh, you don't like this, so be it. And I tell you what. Did you happen to see uh, President-elect Trump hell yeah. at that press conference? Hell yeah. yeah. People, uh, CNN. Critics. Uh, all of them. Everybody's uh, a critic. And what did he do? He said, fuck you. Well, pretty much. Pretty fuck much you. is what he did. Without <laughs> maybe saying those words, of course, he wasn't on a podcast. Was, he, was, he was there as the president. It was in his eyes. It was absolutely in his eyes. And he said, to hell with you, to hell with you. That's fake uh, news. This is fake news. So get I him think, out of here. Lock him up. Get him out. That's right. Put him, put him under. Come we up here and say it to my face. Absolutely. Knock the shit out of you. Well, I'm going to take a page from that great American's book. President. Our... Uh, Soon to be probably one of the greatest presidents of all time. He's making history Already. every day, and he has not he has not placed his hand on that Bible yet. What a week. And all week long, he has showed it to them. He has showed it to them. He has shown it to you, whoever you may be. You just got to want to look at it. Absolutely. He can't make you look at it when he shows it to you. We have to get united. Get behind our president. Yeah, in that way. Not unite. I hate him. Now, all these little, uh, it must be a, a hell of a winter because there's a lot of little snowflakes are fluttering everywhere and a wine. There's so many s- snowflakes I-, I hear from and see every day. We're going to put together about eight different frosty liberals. Snowmen. That's how much. Oh, no frosty the snowman liberal. Come back here with my hat. It's what that magician No magic had. hat for them, no, no, sir. No, they just have to suck it up. And you know who else has to suck it up? All these people have a, a, anything. You got a comment about the the Bear Nut Boys, what the Bear Nut Boys are doing, what the Bear Nut Boys are trying to do. If you got comments about that, you can leave them. But you know what I think these are? I think these are fake comments. I don't believe a one of them. You probably come from the CIA. CIA is trying to discredit our Russian podcast with their fake comments. Pitiful. Pitiful. Here we are doing the best job everybody, all these comments say. Oh, the Bear Nut Boys need to hang it up. Yep. Bed up boys are terrible. Bed I'm tired up, of reading it. Bed up boys need to. Now, now, don't, don't let that. Bed hey, up boys. Don't let that get to you now. Don't, I, don't let them get to you like that. <laughs> don't 
Listen here, Philip. Bear that boy. Teeth. Hold your head up high and don't let these kind of words, these words are from awful, awful people. You know what I think of all these people who are saying this and that? I boy. think they're a bunch of goddamn assholes. And forgive yeah. my French, but I'm going to say it. Okay. First off, you made my brother Philip cry. I so cried. You, you, you can go straight to hell and stick it right up your, all your asses. Yeah, my boy always. Well, for me. Is that what right. they think of me, I guess? is what I wonder now. Is it that don't what they think of me? It don't matter what they think of you. That's what I'm saying. It matters I was an what Eagle I... Scout. Years ago, you were. You tell me something that's more American than being an Eagle I was Scout. An Eagle Scout. I played the lead in Merchant of Venice. Well, I guess since Obama ever took over all the Eagle Scouts or something else, it's not what it used to be, but it's about to go back. Whatever an Eagle Scout used to be when you were one, that's what it's going to be today. I have an associate's degree. Things are going to be great again, people. I can't wait for it. And I can't wait for all these uh, naysayers, these these uh, uh, mean comment leavers. Uh, I guess it's springtime, too, under the snow, because it's time to suck it up, buttercup. Time to do it. The seasons are, are just going by, all of you. Prepare in yourself. In summertime, it, you, you got to go, yeah. Just take a take a uh, take a ice cream. Run down the slippy slide, remember? Yeah, get on the slippy slide and then b- bash your asshole head in. <laughs> well, that's what I hope to ever want happens to every one of these uh, people. So some people like the the way things used to be. They don't like change. They don't. They want it to be back. You know the way the safe way the the way that they used to and things no, like I that. I want America great again. Well, so do I, and that's what it's going to be. And 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 the Baronet Boys are great again. And if you don't like it, stick it up your ass because we're not going anywhere. We're patriots. It's like all these people uh, telling our great president, President Trump, uh, you're not legitimate. You're not a real president. Illeg- you need to step down. Get out of here. That's what they're all saying. But he ain't, you watch. We're going to be just like him. He ain't going anywhere, neither are we. We'll be here for at least eight years. He's going to make America great. We're going to make this podcast great. Hell yeah, yeah. And anyone that don't think so can can stick it straight up their ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Like you say, President Trump, you illegitimate. President Trump, you ill. Just don't let them. I don't know why they say it. Don't let them get to you. Just because they, they, they got to have something to say. That's it. So they got to have to have that mouth so running. The, 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 the mouth is like a, a, a diarrhea butthole. Something's got to just keep coming out. It's just got to keep coming out. That's how those people are. You always know how to cheer me up. Well. It's a butthole. It's a diarrhea butthole. <laughs> something's got to come out, and that's all that's going to come out of their mouth. It's a bunch of damn shit, and I'll say it right here. They so butthurt from the diarrhea, I guess. Absolutely. And I'm sick of hearing it. It's good. We are a good political podcast. Well, I wanted to come out swinging. Our presidents come out swinging, a president elect. Big and I want to come dick. out swinging. Yeah, you said it. You a said it right dick. there. Well, he's got it all. He said it himself. He said, don't look at these hands. Look at, you know, what's down here. He said that, and that's part of the reason he's president right now. That's part of the reason. That's when the tide turned. Otherwise, it was probably going to be Marco Rubio. Oh, good Lord. I can't even, don't even, uh uh-uh. Don't even say that. Granted, it would have been better than Obama. I'll I'll say that, but it wouldn't be great. No. It wouldn't even be good. I doubt it would be, it'd be tolerable. Hey, yo, yo, yo. And nobody would be excited at Tallywhackers about Marco Rubio. They'd be like, eh. But now when Twunk comes on TV, everybody gets so horny. Oh, he's. He's a man. He he does something to people. He does something to the American people. A uh, freedom comes out of his mouth hey, uh, hey, uh, and, and right into the back of your neck, into your ears. Uh, uh, you know the, the tingling starts and, and it don't it don't stop. It goes in and uh, the butt hurt people. It comes out. That's exactly right. It's all perspective. You said it there. You How said you it there, Philip. It's different. Every different bit of ways it. You it's, look at it. It's all perspective. And I try, you know, people say, well, try to see it from their eyes. They were used to a certain thing. And they, you know what? I don't want to see out of a butthole's eyes. Do you want, you want to see what a butthole sees? No. No. Neither do I. I don't even want to think about it. What does it see? I mean, it's mostly just. Probably can't say much for it. It's either looking down at it. I don't want to see any of it. I don't either. 
Don't want to think about it. I mean, I did. I'm thinking of like three or four things it could say. leave. Leave that to the the naysayers, the comments. Let them tell us. Tell us when you comment on here uh, next time. You, just tell us what you see, butthole. Tell me what you're looking at with your butthole eyes, because we don't. I don't want to see it. You have to describe it to me. We do appreciate all the comments, and we read them all, so keep them coming. Please do. Uh, please like and share as well. We appreciate uh, the, the, that. Uh, on uh, iTunes, if you get on iTunes, Weston wants us to say, get on iTunes and leave us a review. Rates and reviews. That's right. That's how, that's how they put it. Uh, we R- can Russia use it. Rates and reviews. Get on there and tell them. Now, there's, you, there may be a lot of people who aren't excited about you and I talking on here, but I tell you what, there's also a lot of people who aren't excited about Donald Trump putting his hand on that Bible and becoming president and making, making this country. Making God look down and go, whoa. Absolutely. Hey, yo, yeah. Yo. Absolutely. God needs to look down at something. Why didn't somebody tell me this was going to happen? I would have come down and sit in the audience. He wants to see something good. He's, he's used to seeing bad stuff. Let's make God happy. Let's uh, make God happy. Absolutely. I live every day, every waking minute. That's what I. That's how I want to live it. Yo, yo, yo. I want to make the good Lord happy with me and Trump. Absolutely, Trump. Just all he has to do is be himself and 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 be a great American, and it's going to make God happy. It's going to make uh, me happy, and it makes a lot of patriots happy. But I tell you, who it doesn't make happy. Uh, there's people who were so uh, a butt hurt, as you as I heard you butt say, hurt. looking out the butthole eyes, hurting. Like like they are, and they they're saying to themselves, "Well, you know what? I'm not going to go there because I don't want to see that. This president isn't legitimate," is what they're saying. So they didn't want to go to this inauguration, and, and a lot of people are going to sit home. And this fella now now I don't know a whole a lot about this fella. I'm learning a lot. Uh, I try to keep up with the, with events because I know I'm going to get on here and talk about it. So uh, this John Lewis fella been around for a long time, seventy something years Rain old. Rain the swamp. Drain the swamp, it's time to go. Now, this gentleman here says that our president isn't legitimate and he's not going to show up to the inauguration. He's got better things to do than support the incoming president of the United States of America. I don't know what those things are. It sounds to me like he's not legitimate. Absolutely, absolutely. What, what now, he going to do, be done tallywhackers? Now, we don't need to sit here and run this man down. There's no reason for, for, for us to do it because I tell you what, uh, used to be back in the day, you'd let the Rush Limbaugh get, get a word in or, or or you'd let your Hannity get a word in, and they're still talking. They haven't stopped. Let the Baron Oak boys chime in. We're happy to. But now we have a president that don't need our help. We should just go home because he got it covered. He's got it all done. He Ain't he no need for no what's he, I call it what's Limbaugh, but he he less funny than I am is what Trump say. Sean Hannity, he's good like it's a flavor of wave, but I'm Chuck D is what is what President Trump He's is. all he's D and, and B and C, all the alphabet. C. All of it. He can get on there and take care of himself. Now he said that he this flavor flavor and Chuck D. He said that this gentleman, this uh was it Mr. Lewis, John Lewis, mm-hmm. is a Lewis, all a loser. I, I, he may have said that in so many words. Sometimes he uses all talk, that. all talk and no action. That's no what he action. said about this gentleman. And now this is where I have learned a lot about Mr. Lewis since that time. Uh, before then, I, I I wasn't quite aware of his history. Why well, I, I took a African American studies class. So you are got in, my associate's degree. You knew who he was. That's how I learned about you. Know, uh, you knew Public this. Enemy and John Lewis. Well, you're a smarter man than me. My old state community college. You're a smarter man than me. I'm trying to learn here because I want to, and I want to give this man. This man is is due respect. I I will say that. I will say that after I've learned a thing or two. Um. But people have taken but how offense. much we spend. Well, that's exactly right. Now, this gentleman, he's, he went to jail for his cause, uh, and he was, he was I, I've read this over and over again, he was beat up, he was beat down, uh, and, and, and kept, you know, kept on going, I, good for him. But let me say like something. like the up boys. Just, well, no, not quite like us, a little different. But let me say something here. In context of history is how you have to look at these things. You can look at that now and see it one way. But back then, you have to understand. Now, I'm not saying this is right. As a matter of fact, I think it's terrible. But back then, a lot of black gentlemen, 
were beaten by the police. A lot of them. Now, I don't think every, is every one of those uh, gentlemen a, a hero today? I mean, I need to, uh, to look at the list. Well, I don't, I, if we should know all their names, I guess I don't. I know Mr. Lewis's game, but I don't know, know why does that make him more special than so many other uh, young black men who were who were beaten uh, by the police in Alabama and, and, and several other states across this country during the Civil Rights Movement. So uh, good for you, Mr. Lewis, but I just think there's a lot of other men. That's what Trump says. Absolutely, too. absolutely, absolutely. Basically, I think, I don't. The same, the same sort of thing. Basically, he, same, covering the same ground. So, Mr. Lewis, respect to you, and I understand it's it's Martin Luther King Day tomorrow, and 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 God bless you. But seriously, just maybe not talk yourself up to be such a big shot, to be such a big shot that you were the only uh, gentleman who 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 suffered any kind of uh, abuse like that during the Civil Rights Movement. I think that's that's uncalled for. I don't think you should do that. And uh, but evidently, that's the kind of personality you have. You think you're such a big shot that you do not have to go to the inauguration. Of President Trump. It should be mandatory. It absolutely should be. It is the President of the United States. And I tell you, a lot of other people who aren't showing up to this, and, and I'm glad they're not coming, is the, this Hollywood elite, these bubble uh, musicians, these uh, this storm, uh, uh, this summer, uh, this winter, uh, uh, buttercup snow, for all of these people who, who are too good to perform for the new president and celebrate uh, a new day in this country. Just too busy. And you're going to make Mr. Greenwood, and God bless him. God bless. We, we called it. Better God up, bless boy, prediction. I said it. Give old Lee Greenwood a call. And now, Somebody now, must have been listening, or maybe watch or heard us say it, and they called Trump, and they said, hey, uh, Don Trump, have you heard about Lee Greenwood? It doesn't matter how it got there. We're they just go, glad who? someone and got somebody say, Donald Trump doesn't know because he doesn't know. He's from New York. He has a lot to learn, but he's got people around him who tell him Lee Greenwood is also an American hero. Now, but Lee, he will come to the inauguration. Lee Greenwood. Because he doesn't have other things to do. Is a great American, but he now, bless his heart, he's done so much for this country. He's at an age where you should not be performing. And all of these selfish little musicians uh, think so little. They said, you know what? We're too busy. Uh, we're going to let this old man get up there. Sick with Christmas disease. He's going to let him get up there and sit up there and, and make him. Let's, let's make the old and, and frail and, and not quite as, Poison blood. as talented as they once were. Let's let those people uh, pick up the slack and stand up for this country. We'll tell you what now, Mitchell. Lee Greenwood, that's the kind of man he is, and that's what he's going to do. God bless him and the USA. Since there's, hear me out, since there's going to be a lot of rounding people up pretty soon. Well, there better be, yeah. I think we could get some practice in and wound people up and make them come to the inauguration. So, John Lewis think he's going to sit at home or do whatever, play with his cats. But here come the Trump Patrol, you know, drag him to the car, put him in. He shows up. They they drag him out on stage. There you go. And Trump goes, oh, look who's here, Don Lewis. I'm glad you could make it. Lee Greenwood comes over and shakes his hand, and they say, it's great to have a true, true American hero here. And then they drag him off the stage. And he, they put him back in the cell. I'm all for that. And if that's got, what it takes to be a patriot in this country. Oh, then, Mel Streep, I guess you had a change of mind. And they give her a shot or something that like the Russians give them. And, and Mel Streep just says whatever uh, you program her to say. The Russians have a lot of different kind of shots that they can do that. Did you see that movie years ago? Now, this is smart. And a lot of people are saying this is smart, what, what uh, uh, President Putin uh, did to this country, how he manipulated pull it's strings. Real smart. To Hell help, yeah. Absolutely. To help this country. Hell yeah. Uh, you know, we weren't getting any help from anywhere else, so I'll take it. I will take it, and I'll thank Mr. Putin right now. I thank will you, repeatedly Mr. thank Putin. him. Thank you, Mr. Putin. We do a lot. Well, absolutely. We don't know when they're listening. But a lot of people are saying, you know, how, and they, and right they are, 
uh, how they did manipulate this election and and, and what they managed to thank do. Thank God, thank to, God, and Jesus. For absolutely, it. but that this film years and years ago. It's the Moscow I, on the Hudson. Moscow on the Hudson. What they did to this man, these drugs, these they'd give him a shot. He wouldn't know where the hell it was. He'd strangle the next the man sitting right next to him, not knowing where he was. Sick. Thought he was back in Russia and then he's in New York. Like like uh when a soldier. That's this is the kind of technology that America should have been using years ago. Now, this film's an old black and white movie years and years ago. Captain America is from the 40s, and Winter Soldier is from also the 40s, but they made him kill a bunch of people, and Captain America just, you know, is pretty strong. But Iron Man made his own armor because he knows that you can't depend on anybody else, a society or government, to do what you there's greatness in you he's libertarian well i think there's greatness in in most americans a uh, true patriotic americans there's a lot of great because they want uh they're walking around uh, being great all the time if captain and they, america and they, was real he'd be captain russia and everybody go that's great he go you're great america's great hey whatever gets the job done that's what i'm captain for. america gets it done absolutely gets a john dob absolutely gets a john dob Hey, oh, yeah, oh. Russia, 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 Russia. Hello and look. Open eyes. All time country podcast. Both comrades here now. Good evening, everybody. This is Bill Barron. I'm so glad to, to have you here listening to us. And I want to say what a thrill it is to be here in Moscow. Uh, my good Russian friends uh, brought me over here. And, and thank God they didn't bring me alone because I don't speak the language. I don't know what I do over here. <laughs> so I tell you who they brought along with me to keep me company. And I'm glad he's here. He's going to keep uh, myself, you, uh, all of us in company right now. It's the talking Christmas gift. What's in me? Oh, good Lord. What's in me? <laughs> What's in me? I still haven't guessed. I've been trying to figure this out all day today because usually I figure it out. Uh, you know, you kind of narrow it down. You, you guess here, you guess there, and, 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 and bless your heart for, uh, for humoring me and trying to help me out, giving me hints. But uh, I'm at a loss today. I have no idea uh, what's in there. And, and then let me tell you, explain right now, this is doctor orders. Uh, doctor's orders. This is not personal. Uh, so if, if you ask me to get inside of you to find out what it is in you, uh, I am not allowed to do that. I want to make that clear right now. Doctor's orders. It is not personal. It is because uh, uh, there's nothing I'd rather do than get in there inside of you and feel around, try to figure out what's going on. But um, uh, I'm not permitted to do so. Uh, at this time, so let me well, just make that clear, because if I come off as a spoiled sporter, okay. so just letting everybody know this is this is just, and hopefully temporary. Hopefully it's a temporary thing till I get up on my feet and uh, I get to work. And I'm thankful I got my mouth and my tongue working. I can I can talk on here. And I've had this Christmas disease now for a, a few uh, weeks, uh, and uh, uh, bless her heart, uh, um, until uh, Trump can get all this figured out, uh, this this health care. Uh, stuff as soon as President Trump gets in there and replaces this uh, horrible Obamacare with something that's going to work for God's sakes, uh, I need to thank uh, my comrades over here, our Russian friends, brought me over here uh, to to help me medically while they study. It's a little bit of both. Uh, they are studying the effects of this uh, Christmas disease, this particular kind of poison uh, that uh, the the talking gr Christmas gift happens to have inside of him um and i'm just thankful because uh uh and i tell you I, I, who i feel for is old uh, lee greenwood because he's bless his heart there's a trooper him knowing that nobody's going to show up uh and and he you know he's one of the he's an old time like myself i'd like to consider myself old time a show business kind of person the show must go on and he's going to get up there and ha at his age and uh, uh with if if his uh particular uh, case of Christmas disease is any anywhere like mine. Uh, God knows he's only got a, a few minutes. He's slower acting. Well, good Here's, for him. Thank God. 
Yours is a newer compound. Well, it, it got to me pretty quick, and, and they give me a couple shots, and I can get on here and, and, and make my tongue and my lips work for a little bit. For so, a little bit. Uh, long enough to do, get the job done. Like I said, me and Mr. Greenwood uh, get up there. We're going to let the show go on. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, putting that off. Uh, we're going to have a new president, and we need somebody singing. And uh, thank God it's going to be uh, Mr. Mr. Lee Greenwood, and I, I say it's awful shame of those young entertainers who could just entertainers who could just uh, lap rings around Mr. Even if Mr. Greenwood just at his age alone is quite impressive, but to be up there, uh, however slow reacting the disease may be, uh, God bless him. Uh, uh, these youngsters wouldn't know how to entertain like that man, and to let him get up there in the condition he's in uh, before they would lend a hand and help. That that says a lot about. Uh, uh, this Hollywood elite uh, crowd to me, it says, a, it says a lot to me about them, and that's how, pretty much all I need to know. You're not an elite, even though you had your own TV show. Well, years and years ago, I didn't let that go to my head. You had uh, so many good TV shows showing us buffets. Absolutely. Um, I had a, a show uh, in my jewelry store. Uh, where we would just look around, and some people say, "Well, that, that's just a commercial," and, and yes, sure it is. It but, was. Every, but at the same time, I like commercials. Uh, you get Where's to, the beef? You get to meet who comes in there and and, and introduce yourself and and talk to them. You know, it's it's just walking around and 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 meeting new people and meeting new in things. In your store, a- absolutely. Uh, that was a good show. Well, I enjoyed doing it, and I enjoyed selling the jewelry, and I, I enjoyed letting people. I should be proud of my business, so. Put that business together with my own two hands until. Uh, Who's gonna run it now that you're here? Well, I don't know. Um, I know my boys. I did ask them. I thought that was gonna happen, but evidently they're busy with something else. They didn't tell me what. Uh, they said, "Daddy, it's gonna be. We're, we're gonna make you proud. It's gonna. It's gonna be a surprise." But I don't. So that right there concerns me just a little bit. You know it how should. those those boys with things You'll they can get into. You'll never see them again. Well, I don't know about that. I, no, I, I, you won't. Well, I'm not gonna. I, I don't wish that uh, on myself or them. I I, I hope to to see, You'll see learn my to boys love again. It here. Well, uh, I do love it here. I, there's nothing wrong here, and I tell you what, I'm glad to be here until um, the uh, the twentieth, or the excuse me, the twenty sixth. I'm glad I'm here till then because uh, I really don't want to step a foot back in uh, America until it's great. The inauguration is a national holiday here what in an Russia. Op- what an opportunity. It is. They they know how to do it. I'll be quite honest. They're having a lot more uh, performers actually celebrate, perform over here uh, than the actual inauguration. And I don't know what that says about America to me. I don't know what it says. There's going to be a parade here. Uh, there's uh, Now, I, I'm not familiar with a lot of these Russian entertainers, but there's not one sitting at home uh, on the couch. They're all up and, and, doing, and, and, and doing what they do, entertaining the good uh, Russian people and and celebrating the way the way uh, fireworks any victory should be celebrated absolutely naked girls and tigers well I don't know about all that but uh, if You'll that's how they do love it. if that's what they do <laughs> you know to each his own to each his own uh, happy to be here grateful to be here and uh, just excited about what's going uh, on in America uh, just as excited as our as my good Russian comrades are over here and I'll I'm, show you some of the sights. That they may not know at home, but I stay here in Russia 10, 11 months out of the year. Now, this is news to myself as well. I was excited to hear this. You explained to me uh, to this. Uh, uh, I was, uh, they brought me over in an in a, a, a emergency kind of plane. I had a bed there, and, and bless his heart, the, the talking a Christmas gift uh, sat beside me, helped uh, get me over into this country, uh, and along the way, you explained this to me, and this is quite fascinating. So explain to, to our listeners uh, just what you told me on First the plane. First off, let me say I'm sorry about the blindfold, and I'm sorry about all the times they would punch you in the face. Well, you, as you explained to me, this is a tradition. This is, a, this is a, a etiquette. This is the proper way uh, that sorry. this— Sorry. Well, so be it. Uh, I got through it, and I'm standing. It just makes me a little stronger, I think, is all it does. It just <laughs> makes me uh, uh, that much more uh, uh, patriotic and, and willing to, to serve and, and, and do, as, do as I'm asked. So I'm happy to do that. I'm a people pleaser. I'll be honest. I am. People say, talking Christmas gift, where do you live? 
when it's not Christmas? Just normally it'd be the Mushin's uh, department store uh, back in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. That's where I, w- w- so many people became aware of it. And I'd say I go back in the closet with the gift wrap and the tape. But the truth is, since I moved to America in 1980, I've been a Russian spy. I've been infecting the children of America with Christmas disease. That's just fascinating to me. A.K.A. blood poisoning. Now, now you explain this to me, and this may be why uh, Mr. Greenwood's is a bit slower than mine, because uh, you, you rush it, you mix it up a bit. Am I correct? It's 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 trying out. It's 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 developing new poisons. It exciting, gets better every year. Uh, diff, different reactions. You know, this I is, don't even recognize the poisons they use now just the, compared to the poisons they used in the early eighties. Well, I'm sure there was room for improvement. And uh, the Russians, they're no dummies. They knew how to get that poison just right, just how they want it. And I tell you, if this is it, if that's why I'm here and they're studying me, then, then let me explain. Uh, it's awful. Let me explain this Christmas disease. And, and it's not, it's, you know, I understand I, I would love, please, no, I would love to get inside you. I'm just not allowed to do so at this time. And these are the Russian doctors I telling me this. I they'll tell you uh, to do something, and you'll do it. Well, when it's time, they'll tell me. If they if he came on right and said, get in there, sir, I will be happy to do that. Yeah, but un- until that will. time, I'm going to follow orders. Uh, but let me tell you, if this is the end result of developing different poisons from the beginning of the 80s until now, you've come on something. Because I tell you, I didn't know. I couldn't. My, my mouth wouldn't work. I couldn't talk. Uh, couldn't you see didn't straight. You didn't know where you were. I had no idea. I, I had told no my idea. wife, I said, i never seen it work so fast before as it did on Bill. Well, your wife should be proud because it... She is. Well, she should be. Uh, if, if, if that's... If... She was a minor Russian beauty queen from oh, 1976. Bless, bless her heart. See, now this, and I've sat across from that woman how many times and I had no idea. This is news to me. God knows she's beautiful enough, but I had no idea. Uh, and, and I'm learning so much since I've been here. Uh, so much about different poisons and so much about my old friends here. Uh, your old friends turn out to be new friends. And, of course, there's a lot of new uh, Russian friends over here as well. And She's uh, basically a peasant. And somebody driving through, a party official said, if you wash the dirt off that one's face, she'd be pretty good looking. Well, bless her heart, she and, is. And she said they did. And she was even better looking than they thought. Well... And the party officials said, come on, I want to show you to this one. And then they'd show her to another party official, and they'd say, let me show you to this one. Somebody called Victor, and she eventually wound up sort of out of favor with the party officials after a few years, and they used her to get me to go to America. Well, That's sort of a sticking carrot. Well, bless her heart. I would have done it anyway, but they didn't know that. <laughs> bless your and her heart. Just the loveliest couple. It's almost uh, Valentine's Day. You'll ever meet. Oh, get her something nice. Cause Lord knows she deserves it. She deserves it. She's a, just a, a lovely woman. I've had many, uh, uh, many a wonderful evenings sitting across from, from you and, you and your lovely wife. And, and I've learned so much about her. I have so many uh, more reasons just to respect farmer. her. And, just a farm Just girl. Just a poor peasant girl. And look at her now. Look at her now. Married to a celebrity. She was and the queen of Murfreesboro. Bless her heart. And now drug back into the cold heart of Russia. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad I got drug here because what I was looking at over there uh, without these fine doctors was, was looking pretty rough. So I'm glad to be here and having these. Uh, They're going to learn from your infected organs. I'm happy. if Whatever I can do to, to help. Uh, whatever's necessary, that's what I'm here for, and I'm I'm happy I'm happy to help. I'm happy anything works on me. <laughs> You'll start to see you'll see a lot of reporters getting sick soon. Well, well a lot of these reporters run themselves ragged, uh, just uh, worrying the death themselves and everybody else about this president. And I don't see anything else. Uh, president Trump back home, President elect Trump, I, they deserve a little sickness because we we could use a little downtime. <laughs> From a lot of that attitude, I believe. So they uh, should calm down, because that kind of worry could get you killed. 
Absolutely, absolutely. We ain't got time. Why, why not worry about how great America's going to be? That's what I thought. That's something. <laughs> worry about how much fun you could have if you just give in and come join us inside of me. Well, I'm you glad. You all wind up inside of me sooner or later. I'm glad that I had the opportunity. I can't wait until uh, my Russian uh, cap, uh, friends uh, tell me uh, I'm permitted to get back in there. I'll be the first place to go. Uh, like I said, right now it's just uh, uh, not possible, not a good idea for me to, to get in there at the moment. But I look forward to when that time comes around again. Well, it looks like we're running out of time here. Our, uh, our comrades are saying wrap this up here, saying that's what we got to do. I got, we got to do some more uh, some more of those, uh, what, what do they call it? They, they, rub, they take these things and just rub, they cut little pieces of uh, your arm, little skin pieces. Biopsy. Is that what it is? And then they add this uh, another poison to that, and it changes. So it's like a. It's fascinating. I'm and I'm not a big science guy, so I'm I'm fascinated with this. Uh, and then after that, another test podcast. Well, hey, uh, I'm ready to keep going. If this helps me on here, all the better. I'd love for my health to improve. Uh, but if not, and all I'm able to do is talk and do this, uh, I want to do it to the best of my ability. For now. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe so I guess not even that soon. It's around that time. Uh, what do you say, old uh, talking Christmas gift? Uh, well, let's say goodbye in the uh, only way we know how. What's in me? I don't know. What's in me? I couldn't guess. What's in me? I hope next week. When I do, I'm a success. What's in me? Because I want to know. What's in me? What's inside? What's in me? What sort of presents are you trying to hide? What's in me? So long, friend. What's in me? <laughs>